WBAP. 648 right now. Our friend Dr. James Pinkney joins us. Dr. James is with us to kind of give us some perspective on this story that started breaking over the weekend regarding Dr. Oz. And, of course, he is more than a television host. He is a cardiothoracic surgeon, easy for me to say, uh, at uh, Columbia University's med school. In fact, he's the department vice chair there. Uh, But many in the department are ready for him to go. They've actually called for him to be fired. Uh, Dr. James, let's dive right into that. Why do they want him out? Well, unfortunately, Dr. Oz uh, promotes a lot of products on his show that, uh, that aren't backed by a lot of scientific evidence. And that's the main reason why uh, some physicians around the country are calling for him to be dismissed from Columbia. Okay, so he, he, he's got stuff that he backs that, okay, maybe not scientific evidence, but has he done the research to the point where he's comfortable in, in, in endorsing a product? You know, I, I don't believe so. I don't watch the show regularly, but I have seen the show on occasion, and some of the products that are promoted are, are completely erroneous. Uh, and, I, and I'm shocked at times to see that he is promoting you know, some of these weight loss pills uh, that have zero uh, medical evidence to back uh, their, their products. Wow. So now the faculty there at Columbia says, we can't have this guy as a member of our faculty, as our vice chairman, uh, because of what's happening on the television. I guess you can't really separate the two jobs, can you? Well, unfortunately, he represents the school no matter what he does. And I think that is uh, the biggest item for concern. Now, personally, I don't believe that his his television show should have to do with his uh, cardiothoracic surgeon life at Columbia. Uh, As far as I know, what I've read, he's a very talented surgeon uh, and does a great job in that role. I I think at this point, the show has gotten so big and he is so busy that it's almost impossible to review all the material that 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 are promoted on the show. So he has to find a staff or, or, or another physician or someone who has the medical credentials to simply review the products, make sure that they're sound, uh, and then present them on the show. Yeah, I, I've often thought about this. You, you're a member of the medical community with a Dr. Oz or the other show that's on, what is it called, Doctors, and, they've, and, and they're giving out advice and things like that. Do, do those make you cringe because, you know, every, everyone's different. Every symptom can, can have another meaning. It, it, does it make your job more difficult that these folks are out there on television touting these other options for them? Uh, it is when when the products don't aren't backed by medical science. A lot of people will come in and say, "Oh, I heard on Dr. Oz that uh, you know agave nectar is good for you," and and then I have to go, "Well, it's not necessarily good for you. It does cause a glycemic spike, but it's better than some of the other options." So I kind of have to uh, define the products more uh, in more detail. Uh, so yeah, I, I would say yes, it does make my job a little bit more challenging when when you know 10 to 12 million people watch these these shows uh, and and come to me and say, "Hey, I heard this." on the doctors or I heard this on Dr. Oz and I have to say sometimes you know that's just not true yeah the thing about Dr. Oz he's fighting back too right he doesn't he doesn't want to resign from uh, Columbia am I right yeah he he doesn't want to resign uh, and and if I were him I wouldn't want to resign uh, either so it's it's a challenging situation so I think he needs to look deep down inside and remember that the, our, our most important aspect of being a doctor is to do no harm. Mm-hmm. So when we make recommendations, even if it's on TV or in articles uh, or in print, you have to remember that. Do no harm. So we have to do the research and make sure that any any recommendation that we make has to be backed by medical science and evidence-based medicine. All right, Dr. James, as always, appreciate the time. Thanks for the insight. 651. 